Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. And uh, this is going to be another comparison video. Uh, we of course had this out here before. This is by Vastfire. This is one of their, uh, obviously one of their flashlights. And uh, I went ahead and I got another one by another company I've gotten some from before. This is Feachi. And they also have a flashlight, roughly about the same kind of flashlight. And uh, of course, it's a mount for on a, uh, a gun of some type. So let's go ahead, open up, check out what's inside real quick, and then we'll do the comparison. So uh, what we've got, first thing we've got here is just the uh, documentation there. Of course, the instructions. Uh, we have the, well, the charger, which is pretty standard. Uses uh, USB, and uh, here's the USB cable. Uh, now, one thing to note, this is a USB-C connector rather than the USB-B micro, uh, which is uh, obviously the C is the newer version. So if you have newer phones, you can use the same charger. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? We have, uh, oh, there's also, oh, we've got some kind of, uh, uh, we've got a little strap here, a little Velcro strap there that we can use to uh, kind of tie some stuff up together. We have the push button capability here so of course the little little screw in right there and of course you have uh, you've got the two so the instant on and then the long press so hit it leave it on or hit it hold it and then let go and it turns off you guys know what that is I'm sure uh, we've got batteries and it came with two of them and uh, these of course are the uh, 18650s uh, that are, of course, commonly used in these style uh, flashlights. So there we go, just a very large A battery is what it looks like. And then we've got the mount, and uh, the mount on this one is for a uh, Picatinny rail. And uh, so you can, of course, mount this on. Now this is obviously an offset so that if you have things in line, you can set it off. If you have a top rail, for example, and you have a scope, uh, obviously you don't want things getting in the way, so nice thing. And then we've got the flashlight itself. And as you can see, the flashlight is nearly identical, honestly, very, very similar to the other one, which most of these are built very similarly. Uh, obviously the vast fire does have a slight variation um, their scalloping is a little bit different, little little smaller sections there. The scallops themselves are a little wider. Uh, and uh, then just the little bit of the difference in the head and everything. But uh, the overall length is almost the exact same size. Uh, and the basic build of them is pretty, pretty much the same. Uh, now this one, of course, it has a lanyard on it right now. Of course, if you're going to mount it, you're going to pull that off because you don't want that swinging around. Uh, the interesting thing is, is Vast Fires has actually got the little brand logo on here. Feachi, for some reason, doesn't have it on there. It's just blank. Now, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and screw it in, or unscrew it, and get the uh, battery in there. And let's see. So, there you go. Nice and bright, just like they normally are. And we've got the Vast Fire, which is also nice and bright. Uh, a little more even, it looks like. See how this one, this one's got a dark center and then fades out around the outside edge. So the focus on it is kind of odd in the way that it works. Let's kind of see them side by side, this being Vast Fire, this being the Feachi. And uh, at the same distance, you can see this one's a little wider, but it's only bright at the center. The sides are much, much less so. Whereas this one on the vast firelight actually has um, a much more even tone going all the way across that you can see. Uh, I'm looking at it on the screen there and it looks just like one solid uh, bright light all the way across instead of um, a bright center fading out. Uh, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, well, this one turns out, I didn't realize it. But uh, turns out the vast or the uh, Feachi brand, Feachi does not have any zoom function to it. So you've got a flashlight. This is what it is, and that's all there is to it. Whereas the Vastfire 
it does have that uh, that feature where you can take and focus it down as you can see so if you have something at a distance and you want to focus in on it you can direct that light so that it goes from a wide beam to a much more focused beam and uh, you know that's personally that's that's a hell of a lot more helpful especially if you're gonna have it on um, a gun of some type so uh, that kinda that kinda stinks they didn't have that on there but uh, yeah so comparatively they're both the same in terms of cost on the site but um, Fayachi fell short so uh, it's up to you guys um, if you guys have gotten their brands before or whatever and you've seen one over the other you like one or something like that let me know down there in the comments that's what it's there for say uh, say your piece as they say but uh, in my point of view right now Bass Fire's kind of got them because of the fact that it does zoom and this doesn't and it just gives it more versatility and that's something that I look for when I'm trying to um, put accessories because I want to minimize the accessories and maximize their usage so uh, so there we go uh, if you guys want to check either one of these out again links down there in the description below there'll be a link to either one of these uh, on Amazon uh, if you want to see the video for the vast fire that'll be down there or just wait here in a few seconds there'll be a little a little thing popping up I'm sure uh, for that there's also all of the uh, social media and stuff like that that's down there uh, you can check all that out as well as there is that PayPal link takes place of patreon you know give give the channel uh, a little bit of help there if you'd like to donate also don't forget guys hit that thumbs up button and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so as well as ringing that bell so you know when new videos come out and uh, yeah that'll do it for me today guys I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will uh, see you later bye